Hey there, Lick and Riffers. Welcome back to another awesome guitar video here on Lick and Riff, in which I want to answer a very important question that you brought up after I made the previous video about the baritone guitar. This is a baritone guitar. It's slightly larger than a normal guitar and uh, it's a dream come true. It's the missing link between the bass guitar and a normal guitar because it's tuned okay, It's tuned a fourth or a fifth lower than a normal guitar. This is tuned to B instead of E. It's a fourth down. So it's the missing link. It's right in between a bass guitar and a normal guitar and it, it actually has bass strings, okay? Listen to how low this guitar is, okay? There's nothing high about it, even if you play the high frets, okay? So you asked a very important question. Can uh, normal guitar stuff even be played? Is it possible to even play normal guitar stuff on this guitar or do you need to play specific pieces? Um, like the cello, the Bach cello prelude that I showed you. Um, so it's not a yes or no answer, okay? It's, it's not a black and white issue. Um, in my opinion, it all comes down to creativity and adaptivity. You need to adapt to whatever instrument you're playing. So uh, the simplistic answer would be no. Most simple guitar stuff, most straightforward guitar stuff can't be played because of the, okay, the muddiness of the open position chords. Okay, uh, you need to give the, the notes more space. Okay, you need to. You need to um, space them wider apart. Okay, it's more suited to finger style because you need to give the... Okay, you need to give the bass and the basic bass character of the baritone guitar, you need to give it its respect. So um, you need to adapt. If you want to play Travis picking, for example, you need to you need to adapt. You you can't really play Travis picking unless you're on the higher frets, because you can't get the one two one two one two feel if you're on the open position chords. If you play Dust in the Wind, l listen to how it sounds. It's muddy. Okay, it doesn't sound good but you can adapt. You can create a dark version of Dust in the Wind. You can create something like this. and not just play the song as it is. Um, the same goes for, let's see how Stairway to Heaven would sound. Okay, so it's still low, it's still very low, so you need to give the notes their due respect. Okay, it sounds like this. gives the song a whole new meaning. Um, you may not like this, so just play it differently or just don't play it on this guitar. Um, the Romanza. The guitar romance. Okay, you need to listen to how the instruments 
hear what the instrument tells you um, because every each instrument plays tells you a different story um, so um, let's let's take something um, something else um, let, let's play the blues now as I as I showed you before you can't really you can't really play a normal blues here you can play an outline of, of the blues but it still sounds dark so I would say play minor blues play minor blues on the baritone guitar okay because minor is dark and, and on, on this guitar even the major chords sound somber so even okay if you play major chords Okay, they sound minor for some reason. So just listen to the instrument and play minor blues. So that's my answer. It's not a yes or no answer. It's it's a creative answer. You need to listen to the guitar and and adapt yourself to the instrument, to the nature of the the sound that it enables you to play. Okay, because this guitar gives you so many possibilities, and um, Walking bass. How, how how could I how could I not think of this? Okay, but again, it's a problem because you have uh, you have very low notes anywhere, so you need to think. You need to rethink. Okay, you need to re rethink your... Okay, and... Um, you need to think on... You need to be creative and think how you can adapt your playing. Okay, because I'm used to playing the low register chords when I, when I play walking bass. You see? So I need to re rethink my rethink my chords okay, and, and think what can I do with this? Okay, and so on and so forth. But this is uh, this is me now uh, getting into trouble, so before I get into too much trouble, you can play flamenco on this. Yeah, you, you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, actually, this is a really nice chord. If you give 
give the bass proper respect. Okay, because these are um, very heavy strings, you can get you can you can get uh, harmonics anywhere. Um, so okay, I <laughs> thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Enjoy.